Hello, it's time for a wrap up. So, in July, I actually read a lot and it was a really good reading month, surprisingly. I read 11 books, which is okay. Pretty good, better than usual. Um, but not what I was aiming for, which is like 17 books, clearly out of my league, but let's ignore that. Um, I read 11 books and none of them were actually bad, so that was fun. Let's get into the stats. So in terms of genre, I read nine fantasy books, <laughs> one contemporary and one romance. And in terms of star rating, I read one five star, two 4.5 stars, seven four stars, and one three star, which is really good. I don't know what happened. And in total, I read 4,203 pages. <laughs> now let's get into the books, which is the most exciting part. So the first book that I read in July was a manga called My Brother's Husband by... Don't know how to say that name, but you can look at the name yourself because I'm not going to read that. But it was so cute, I gave it a five star. The only five star. But this is about our main character, this man. I don't know how to say their name, so... And I forgot them, so... More the reason. This man had a twin brother, and he died. And that twin brother married this man, who is Canadian. Um, he didn't know that. So it's a story about the husband coming to visit the family. And it starts off with the main character hating that man, but then starts liking him and his daughter as well. It is super cute and I really want to read the second volume. The next book I read was These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. This is about a Romeo and Juliet retelling of two gangs, obviously. Um, the Scarlet Gang and the White Flowers, or the White Flower Gang, something along those lines, I've forgotten. But our main two characters are from those two gangs. Juliet is from the Scarlet Gang and Roma is from the White Flowers and it is about how there is a kind of a plague monster thing going around in their town in Shanghai and how they're trying to figure out what is causing it and stuff like that whilst also being some romance in it. I gave this a four. It kind of disappointed me, I'm not going to lie, but I did really like it. What I liked the most about this book is probably something nobody else liked, number one. It is the two friends of Roma and their relationship. I really want them to get together. Maybe that's not going to happen, but hopefully, hopefully, let's hope. Um, the ending was predictable, which is usually what I think about books. I don't know. I really liked it. I don't know anything specific that I hated. Um, but I, I did like it. It just was predictable at the end and some things and the romance wasn't that good. Um, but I did like it. It was really fun to read and I really want to keep reading and read the next book, which is the final one, the sequel to it. It's coming out soon, I think. I'm going to buy it only at Christmas because I'm on a buying ban. The next five books are books that you already know that I read because I filmed it. Um, but it is a, an entire series, which is Percy Jackson. I had never read this before, um, I read it now. Um, I'm not going to say what it's about because everyone knows. Exactly. Um, but I gave them in order. Four stars, four stars, three stars, four stars, and 4.5 stars. I'm going to talk about it as a whole because I don't remember what happens in each book. I do, but not exactly. So. I know that Percy Jackson is a really hyped series. Everyone loves it. It's sort of like Harry Potter or something along those lines. I don't know. But I was kind of disappointed because it wasn't that good. Um, it was very confusing. Percy Jackson was the most dumbest person I've ever read about. Um, nobody tells Percy anything, therefore I don't know anything except at the end, which really frustrated frustrated me. Um, a lot of those kind of things. It was good. I probably would have loved it if I read it when I was like 12, 13, but I didn't love it now, which is the point of this. 
Um, yeah, it was okay. Um, I think the Heroes of Olympus continues with the same characters, so hopefully that is better because they're older. I don't know. But I did really enjoy the last book. I liked the whole book. I don't know why I gave it a 0.5, probably because Percy Jackson is an idiot, um, but yeah. The next book I read was Caraval by Stephanie Garber. Um, I've had this for a while and I have, hadn't read it until now. This is about a circus kind of thing called Caraval, which appears once a year to do a game where the person who wins the game is granted a wish. Our main character, Scarlet, again, that's weird. Anyways, our main character, Scarlet, is is invited to go to Caraval, which she does unwillingly, but because of her sister Donatella, she is forced to go. Um, and it's about them playing the game, and it's really fun. I really liked it. I gave it a 4.5. This was so good, I need to continue the rest. I listened to the first half. Oh my god, I opened it exactly where I stopped. The first half, this half, I listened to on audiobook, and this half I read physically. So, yeah. I don't think that really affected anything except for the nickname that Julian says. The audiobook says Crimson because he has an accent, and that really affected me when reading it after, but that's okay. <laughs> I really liked it. I hate Donatella, though, which is probably why I gave it a 0.5. I hated Donatella, it was kind of predictable at times, so those are my only complaints. Donatella and predictable. But apart from that, it's so good, I loved it. Scarlet, the romance, mm, love it. The next book that I read was an arc from NetGalley, which is called Beach Reads Book Club, which I, to be honest, got interested in it because it had Beach Reads, which is one of my favorite books, but we're gonna ignore that. <laughs> we follow two main characters, Lottie and Matthew or Matt. Lottie wants to make a book club because the one she's currently in she hates. So she makes the Beach Reads book club with a bunch of other women which is they meet up at a cafe in a bookstore owned by Matthew. Um, and it's about Matthew and Lottie and love and stuff like that. Um, they start by kind of hating each other, but not enough for it to be a hate to love, in my opinion, but take it as you will. I gave this a 4. It was really entertaining to read. I read it really fast, even though I took a long time. But when I did read it, I read it fast. You... I don't need to explain that. <laughs> but it was really fun to read. I liked the main characters. Their romance was really fun. I hated... Hated. And this is why it's a 4. I hated the conflict. I'm not gonna spoil, but I hated the conflict so much. I wanted to punch everyone except Matthew because he's a sweetheart and we do not hate on Matthew. My god, I wanted to kill somebody. The next book that I read was The Forbidden Wish by Jessica Curry, I think. I don't know how to say this name. Um, Georgia recommended this book to me and I bought it because she told me to and I did really like it, so thank you Georgia for the recommendation. I give this a 4. It is about a Aladdin retelling where Aladdin frees the genie, but the genie is a woman. Um, woman. Um, and the genie falls in love with Aladdin and vice versa. And there's a lot of, like, drama because our main character, the genie, she is a traitor to the other genies. I say Ginny because it's not a genie, it's a Ginny, whatever. She's a traitor and she wants to be free because she's imprisoned in the lamp, as you know. Um, but to do that, she needs to betray Aladdin, sort of. So that's the story. I really liked it. It was fun. The only reason I gave it a four is that I hated the Ginny drama so much. Um, I don't know. Something was not amazing about it. I don't know how to explain it, but it was really good. And the last book I read in July was A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer. 
I buddy read this with Georgia, which was fun, even though we barely talked about it, but it was really fun at the end when we finished and kind of hated it, but I gave it a four. <laughs> this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Clearly the Disney retellings were peaking this month, um, where the Beast called Ren, the Beast, the Beast character, is called Ren and he has been cursed to relive the same autumn of his 18th year until a woman falls in love with him, as is the original story. And then we have our ma female character, Harper. And Harper lives in DC and is transported into the fantasy world where Ren lives. And obviously, you know what happens. Um, Here's the thing of why I hated this book, but I loved it at the same time. The four stars are I loved Beauty and the Beast retelling. It was really fun. I really liked the characters, um, especially Grey, to be honest. Um, I really liked the writing. I liked it a lot. I annotated it. Clearly, I was expecting a five star because this is a five star prediction. But unfortunately, there are two things that really made me not love it. One the fantasy and the living in the real world, and no, I hated it. I hated the fact that Harper lived in DC and then went to a fantasy world that is a parallel universe. I don't even know. Um, no, I hated it. No, didn't want that. It could have just been one place. The other thing that I hated, the love triangle. Why do we need love triangles in this day and age? Why? I hate them. Why do we need them? Can they leave? I, just from this book, I think I already know what's going to happen in the other two because of the way it's written. It's so annoying. Anyways, that's just going to make me more pissed off. So I'm going to stop saying what I hated about this. But yes, those are the two things that I hated that made me lower it to a four star. If they didn't have the, those two aspects, I think it could have been a five, but I don't know. It was really good. I liked this, but not enough to be a five star. I'm not going to pick the book up, the books up. I'm getting dyslexic, but those plus the Percy Jackson series were the books that I read in July. It was a really good reading month, if I say so myself, because nothing was below a three, which is like a good in my brain, kind of. Three is kind of bad, but it's okay. I don't have anything else to say, so that is everything for today, and I'll see you in my next weird video. Bye!